Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to read your capacity charts in Bubble. These charts can be found under the Logs tab within the Usage sub-tab. What these charts illustrate is your app's usage of the server resources allocated to your app. So knowing how to read these charts will help you make a decision on whether or not you need to purchase extra capacity units and generally if you're being efficient with your workflows. Keep in mind that currently any app on the professional plan or above starts with two reserved units of capacity. Okay, let's take a look at these charts for some demo apps. So the more server and CPU time that your app requires to run, the more activity you're gonna see on these charts. The chart on the right shows you an average of usage against your available capacity. All right, so you can see here that in the last 24 hours, usage activity has been pretty low for the most part and maintaining an average of about one to 6% usage. At around 1 or 1.15 p.m. local time, average usage rose to about 20%. So what does this tell us? We can assume that more activity was present during this time period. Either more workflows were run or database searches that just required a little bit more processing power um, occurred. I want to really emphasize the fact that these are averages. So if you look at the right side of this chart, for the last six hours, you can see that the spikes never really rise above 2%. But if I change the time interval for this chart to see usage over the last six hours in total instead of the last 24, the chart looks really, really different. Notice that my max number on the Y scale here is just six, whereas on the 24 scale it was around 20 because within 24 hours there was a moment where average usage reached 20%. So here I have a much more granular look at this six hour period. I'm able to see where that 2% average is coming from. So for the most part we can see that usage is under 1%, but we can see spikes that reach between 4 and 6%. Averaging this period and zooming back up, you'll see that the spikes settle to around 2%. So the shorter the time interval, the more you'll be able to pinpoint times where app usage rose or fell. All right, so now the chart on the left. This chart shows you when and on average for how long your app hit maximum capacity. Okay, so if you hit 100% usage, you're going to have a spike on the left. The higher that spike, the more time your app was at max capacity for that interval. The more that spike turns into a block of blue, the faster you should realize that you have a usage problem and you should purchase extra capacity units and maybe even reevaluate uh, your workflows and your search expressions. In this example here, we can see that in the early morning hours, a very expensive workflow caused the app to reach max capacity for a period of about 30 minutes. Bubble actually tells me that statistic up here, but I can also see in the graph that the period of time for this spike is about 30 minutes as well. I can see it right there in the, in the time interval. What do I mean by expensive workflow? Well, this spike correlates with a quick spike in workflows, which you can see in the workflow chart below. Now, I happen to know that these workflows that ran in the middle of the night were a handful of recurring events, um, which is a type of API workflow. So these aren't users triggering anything. This is just something that's set up to be automated at the same time every week. This is a weekly recurring event. So I would actually expect to see this exact activity every single week at the same time, which is the recurring events schedule time. You can see on the workflow chart that the number of workflows isn't very many. It maxes out around 134. And as soon as the workflows are finished, all spikes across the board return to normal. So I can see that this recurring event takes up a lot of resources and causes the app to hit max capacity. If this was something that was occurring during the day, while I have many users using the app doing other things, I might consider um, adding on an extra capacity unit so that the app doesn't slow down down while this is happening because 30 minutes is a significant period of time when you have users doing other things at the same time. Now brief expensive workflows like this don't necessarily need to be squashed. You don't necessarily need to add more capacity just because you're seeing these uh, brief spikes. It's okay to have them. Your app's not going to break and it's not going to stop working. When your app hits max capacity, bubble rate limits the speed of your app. So during those times, it'll slow down to keep your app under its max threshold. Okay, so again, brief spikes aren't necessarily a bad thing. It's when you're constantly hitting that max limit for long periods of time, that's when it really starts to impact performance and 
two things will help you. You can either buy more server capacity units so that you can always stay uh, below that max threshold and or you can reevaluate your workflows and your search expressions to make sure that everything is built efficiently, right? If you have really complicated searches with a ton of filters, uh, you might want to take a look at those and see if you can go about those searches a different way so that it's not taking up a ton of your CPU usage. So I certainly suggest taking a look at these charts in your app and changing the time intervals and hovering over the charts. They are pretty interactive so you can see exactly what's going on at any given moment. I hope this video helped you understand how to monitor your app's usage. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up or comment below and subscribe to the channel to get more tips like this. Thanks for watching.